Okay, so for this video, I'll be discussing and demonstrating the use of bootstrap carousel. So this is a bootstrap carousel. It's an example. And the carousel is a slideshow for cycling through elements. And we can see that we have here two buttons, the left and the right button, and we can see here also indicators. And how do we create a carousel? So to create a carousel, so we create a division with an ID. So it's up for you to create uh, name the ID. But the class we're going to use is carousel and then slide. And then data ride carousel. So you should be placing this. And then after that, below this will be the indicators. So we have UL class carousel indicators. And we have here three list items. Data target is demo. That's the ID. So the target should be the ID. And then data slide to 0, 1, 2. This corresponds to the 0 corresponds to the first image here. 1 corresponds to the second image and 2 corresponds to the third image and class equals active means that the first image is our uh, default image so it's, that's the active image so again this will be the indicator and then below the indicator will be the slideshow wherein we place the images so what we're going to do here is we have again another di uh, division with class carousel inner so these are the three parts so first we have the indicators the next we have the carousel inner these are the images itself so carousel inner then we have here three divisions so we have one oh sorry we have the first division second division third division and all of the divisions contains or uses the class carousel item and again active so that's that corresponds to the first uh, indicator here. So active. And then we have with the image. Then below, another similar to this one. Carousel item. But of course, a different image. That's why here we have a different file name and different file name here for this one. And then another division. So if we have four images, we just add another division. If you have five images, another division. And we also have to add here so that the indicators will be uh, will be driving with the number of images. <clears throat> so after the slideshow itself, then we have we now the left and right control. So all you have to do is just to copy this. So the first one is actually a link. The button is also a link. And we just use the carousel control previous. So that's the previous button. And href is demo. That's the ID. So it, you should be consistent. So again, the data target here is the ID. Href here is the ID. So data slide equals previous. So it should be named as the previous. And then <clears throat> we have here this span with this class gives us the icon the previous icon and the same the same here although instead of previous we have pre next then demo data slide next and then this span class we're going to use this call, uh, carousel control next icon and then again slash a so these are now the left and the right buttons so again we're just going to copy this, the class that we're going to use, and maybe we can change the ID. But the ID is very important because this should be uh, driving with this data target here and also the href here. This should be corresponding to the ID. And we'll be demonstrating that later in our video. So again, the carousel class creates a carousel. The carousel indicators adds indicator for the carousel. So these are the little dots, or in our case, it's an 
uh, some sort of a line at the bottom of each slide which indicates how many slides there are in the carousel and which slide the user are currently viewing. The carousel inner is the add slides to the carousel. So these are the images. Carousel item specifies the content of each slide. Carousel control previews adds a left or previous button to the carousel, which allows the user to go back between the slides. And the carousel control next class adds a right or the next button to the carousel which allows the user to go forward between the slides. And the carousel previous icon used together with carousel control previews to create the previous button. So some sort of a similar to a lesser than sign. And the carousel control next icon used together with the carousel control next class to create the next button. And the slide adds a CSS transition and animation effect when sliding from one item to the next remove this class if you do not want this effect and we can also add captions to our slides so add elements inside so div class equals carousel caption is slash div and this should be also within the class carousel item to create a caption for each slide so this is how it is done if this is the carousel item again that's where we place the images so we have the image here and then below this we have the class carousel caption slash div and we just place the caption inside this division so for this case we have some sort of a heading heading 3 and we have a paragraph to describe the image and let's now try to demonstrate that in a in a code so here i have here an image or a carousel rather so div id equals demo again you may change this one but be sure that it is consistent with uh, the data target here and the href here so let's just use demo so id equals demo class equals carousel and then slide again the slide will add animation and data ride equals carousel then after that we have the indicator so these are the indicators so i have here four but that means i have four images so ul class carousel indicators so you just copy these zero one two three and then maybe the first one is the active so data slide to zero data slide to one so that means if you click on this it will slide to or go to the first image here if you click on the second indicator that means it will go to the second image also so these are the indicators and then below here will be the actual slide slideshow or the images so we have a division with the class carousel inner then we have here the end of that block and inside this are the carousel items so we have one two three four items and maybe we have to name the first one as our active corresponding to our first indicator and then inside this item we place here the images i place here img fluid because the image i'm using is quite big and this will ensure that the width is 100 percent or maybe you can also specify another width if you want but i just want 100 percent so img fluid so that is uh, it will use the whole width of the screen so this is the first item second item third item and fourth item but i think i have the same file name here so let's try to check for file name so 132 0132 i'm going to replace this one with 0132 so these are the contents okay and then next will now be my caption or my rather my left and right controls so this one carousel control previews href calls demo again that corresponds to the id of our carousel and then data slide equals previews and we have here the icon this is the icon itself so span class equals carousel control previous icon slash span 
uh, very similar but of course instead of previous we use next so data slide is next instead of previews and then the icon is carousel control next icon so if you view this one run launch in chrome so this is now our carousel of course it will be better if we have a maybe a smaller image so i have here my previews and next icon so if i click on this it will slide to the next image if i click on this it will slide to the previous image okay and then i also have the indicator if i click on this it will go to the first image second image third image and then fourth image so what if i have another image so i am img 0918 so what will i do with my code so all you have to do is to add here add another indicator and this one is slide to four and then add another item and i add another carousel item so that's all what we have to do i think the file name is 198 so we save this and we refresh this one so that's the first image second image third image fourth image and fifth image so i have now five images so that's what we do if we want to add uh, more images in our slideshow more items in our slideshow slideshow so how about if we add caption uh, what is our first image so our first image is the boatman so what are we going to do we just add here inside the item something like this so i'll just copy and paste this one okay so we have a division slash d with a class carousel caption and inside this we can place here the descriptions for example this is the boatman and then maybe a description here for example that's my uh, it's my description so let's now refresh so here I have now my my caption of course on the next slide I don't have any more a caption but it will be the same so that's an example that's how easy it is to create a carousel in our website or web page